KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen was at the Texas Democratic Watch Party for tonight's event. Yeah, let's go to him now. He's in East Austin. Phil, talk there has been about one particular exchange. Tell us more. Well, Sydney and Robert, yes, that one moment where Julian Castro asked the other candidates whether they support his idea to decriminalize crossing the border illegally, uh, repealing Section 1325 specifically. He asked everybody, noticed his fellow Texan, Beto O'Rourke, did not agree with him, and that's when he jumped on him. And Democrats here in Austin were watching. I think that's a really bold stance to make, and it's something that Julian is pushing Beto on and saying, like, will you do this? And right now, he's not. Now what we're going to see is, you know, the, the fallout from this debate. Now we're going to see how Texas Democrats are going to take those answers that these candidates gave them, and they're going to demand more. They're going to demand more specifics. Well, Castro very much needed to stand out in this debate. His poll numbers have not been good compared to the other candidates, but the consensus here tonight was that he stood out. Live in Austin, Phil Prayson, KXAN News.